looks like we have a, a red carpet uh, situation here going on at Easter Clash. Thank all you guys for uh, joining us. The hardware coming out, we got a velvet rope uh, being actually added to the set pieces. Uh, right now, I think uh, we must be in for some kind of surprise. And it's Hollywood Cole. <laughs> and it looks like he's brought some friends this evening. He's going to have his own uh, his own private security force. We got a red carpet. This gentleman has been rubbing shoulders with absolute greatness uh, lately up in AEW. The likes of Delton Castle, many many very popular superstars. And it appears like that, that might have gone to his head a little bit and with the addition of the private security and the red carpet. You know, he's doing very well for himself, so there's nothing bad you can say about that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Great for him. Not a person who is exactly beloved by the fans here at CCW. He's made it very clear that he has left the bright, starry lights of Lincoln behind and traded them for the lights of Hollywood. Has he really been in any movies? You know, a couple commercials maybe. There's some talk recently about him being in an episode or two of The Littlest Hobo, or maybe an episode of White Fang, or as one fan remarked, 9021, no. But you cannot debate the skill in the ring of Hollywood Cole, however, coming in at six feet tall, 185 pounds, trained at the Lance Storm Academy, an academy that you keep hearing about here in CCW. We have many incredible wrestlers, and they always come out with the best technical skills. They're always great to watch. They're great competitors. It's, a, it's an incredible place to train, and we're lucky to have all these Lance Storm graduates, among them Slick McGrick, Raven Caius, uh, just to name a few people that you've already seen on the card tonight. But Hollywood Cole brings a different sort of charisma. He's got a little bit of that Johnny Cage attitude. You know, he's got a little bit of that entitlement maybe. Has he earned it? You could say some people could argue in favor of that. But look at the signs right now in the audience. We got Hollywood wears his mother's clothes. We got you suck, boo, you suck, Hollywood, who? I've never seen this many signs being raised up at one time. I think, I think Hollywood Cole just set a record for the most sign hatred at one, at one time. And it's not facing him at all. Not at all. But you know, you know who else has the sign? Billy Art has the sign. Hollywood Cole making his way into the ring. And his private security force is going to go ahead and pull the ropes. And it looks like Hollywood Cole is going to be taking on fan favorite the Maritime Luchador. Check out, check out his TikTok at Maritime Luchador Fantana. Incredible highlight reels out there. This is a incredible athlete. Huge tumbling background. He's fast. He is furious. He is Fantana. He's got incredible relative body strength. He's got incredible maneuvers. He's one of the best high flyers in the business today. He's fast. He's quick. Coming in at 5'5", 150 pounds, but don't let that fool you because when it's moving as fast as Fantana moves, the damage is going to get done. Master of the Moonsault sometimes hits a 450. He's had WWE tryouts in 2019. He's part of the first ever NBWA Tag Team Championship reign with uh, <laughs> Rick Owens. They call themselves Last Call. That's a one that's going to stay in the history books that no one's ever going to take away from him. He has been on a bit of a, a hard luck streak just in recent history. He's not been able to put a few wins together. He's trying to tell his story to us, the fans and the supporters of CCW and Maritime Wrestling. We're here live, Easter Clash, the motherland of professional wrestling is Atlanta, Canada. We are proud to say it. We're proud to be representing some of the best talent across the Maritimes. And we got two of those in the ring right now in Hollywood Cole and the Maritime Luchador, Fantana. It's gonna be referee Abby Muse, once again, in the ring. She's doing, uh, although this is her first time at CCW, she's the senior referee down at Kaizen, and she knows to check out these gentlemen. I think she got a read on Hollywood Cole seeing the entrance, but what's gonna be different from our typical experience here is that 
Holly and Cole brought private security and they appear to be remaining at ringside. They are hanging out just underneath the CCW uh, promo trying. And I, I feel like uh, they're going to have a role to play here. They look like they work out. Let's just put it that way. So, and anyway, for the time being, they're going to be remaining over at the entry right. We have a clean start to this match. We've got Fantana. Beloved by the crowd, you can hear people. There's a lot of discussion. People are having words. <laughs> we got Fantana. We got Hollywood Cole. Also having words with that particularly spicy side of the ring, opposite of Clash Corner. Security coming in, making a little adjustment to the barricade. <laughs> Looked like maybe a fan was thinking about pushing that thing a little closer to the ring. Maybe they want to get a, be able to take a swing at Hollywood Cole. And Hollywood just pouring more gas on the fire. He's going to start a riot right here. There's enough kids right there to World War Z that security barricade and come right in after this guy. You better watch out. They are quick. And they have tiny fists. So there's going to be a lot of penetrative damage from those punches. But they're putting them together right now because Van Damme is up on the rope. And it's just... Just you can feel how much it hurts Hollywood Cole on the inside when they cheer. Every cheer that they let loose in favor of Fantana. And this one is going to be underway. So I do not recall these two mixing it up before. And actually, they did mix it up in CCW about a year ago, come to think of it, over at the Ville on the north side of Fredericton. You got a. Hollywood Cole using the power advantage, but Fantana getting some leverage the old-fashioned way by climbing up the rope. You gotta watch out. Fantana's gonna, he's a master of rope again. <laughs> he will climb up like that. He, I think he was expecting uh, Hollywood Cole to charge in because he's just so angry about the audience and the cheers that they're just raining down on him over and over because he knows he's a celebrity. At least that's what he is in his mind. He knows, he knows it. He feels it. He feels like he deserves it. He can't believe that nobody else can see it. It challenges his perception of reality where these boos start raining in. And Fantana has got a read on that. So he has been already trying to get in Hollywood Cole's head. He expected him to charge in. He didn't do it. Fantana was ready to flip over and surprise him with some moves. These men tangling up, going to be separated. Hollywood Cole thinking that the action was over for a second. Fantana out of quickness. Snap pin coming in. Hollywood Cole, he's getting that crazy luchador pin with the arm hook on the leg. Uh, not quite getting the pin. Both men's shoulders are down. Abby not, referee Abby not moving to position to make the pin. But this time we get a nice backslide right there. So things are really fast. Hollywood Cole showing that he can keep up with Fantana. A little bit faster, he gets a leapfrog in there right too. He a drop kick over on the other side. Fantana able to land and just move into the next thing a little faster than Hollywood Cole was able to predict. Hollywood Cole, you can see he's got this scouted. He's peeking over his shoulder. Yeah, he saw him coming in. Uh, Daniel Wall was able to counter out of this move and give uh, Fantana sort of a hangman uh, neck breaker move last month. Oh, Fantana catches the rope, so Hollywood Cole's offense getting nullified right there by the flippant we dos of Maritime Luchador, who just rope a dope some outside of the ring. We almost got a tranquilo uh, from Hollywood Cole. And then Fantana, surprised by that, comes in for the double axe handle and just gets hung up on the rope. And is it going to be monkey flip face buster out of Hollywood Cole? I can't believe how happy that monkey flip made me since it was being delivered by Hollywood Cole. But I like uh, to watch a good athletic competition. We have a good wrestling match uh, started out right here between these two. It's going to be a fast kick out. You're not going to get a veteran like Fantana down with a monkey flip anything. We're going to need some serious damage with very early. Uh, the, both these men, I would give them very, very close uh, physical ability uh, right here. Probably the conditioning advantage to Fantana. He's going to be a little bit more efficient. He's a little bit quicker and leaner. Um, Hollywood Cole definitely has a viciousness advantage. As you can see, he's got Fantana hung up on the rope right there. He's starting to utilize the counts. And he went right to a four count as well. Sometimes you'll see a wrestler, they go for a hold, they have someone on the ropes, and they get them in there for a minute. Or, oh, let me rephrase that. They hold them on for a second. It was incidental. It was passing by the rope. Hollywood Cole squeezed that, and he used the maximum that he could get out of the referee in terms of time. He went four seconds. At five seconds, that match would have been over victory fan Canna. He was playing with fire. And he might feel like he has this match under control right now. Fantana's going to fire back. He's got a bit of a size advantage. That's uh, when you see those clubbing back shots come in, you know that he's aware of his advantage. 
Nice suplex delivered to Fantana. Fantana kicking it off, and smartly, the Lance Storm trained Hollywood Cole goes to the pin, and just can't quite get it. And then a suplex is one thing, Fantana, he's still alive, he's still moving all the time. Hollywood Cole looks like he's, he's getting a measure on Fantana, he's decided where he's going to take him next, takes him over the corner. Nice little face plant off there, he's using the environment to his advantage. So there might be an element of uh, tactical decision making here that's going to favor Hollywood Cole. Fantana right over the top, brings him in. That was an amazing counter into a pin. Uh, Cole gonna kick out. He's gonna be the first to make it onto his feet and he, he baits in Fantana, who just uh, was not ready for him to get out of that pin. Quick kick to the gut. Hollywood Cole wanted to slow him down. I think that's the read that I got on this. Very nicely done. Hollywood Cole says that it's done. Go ahead and uh, start the next match, I guess, but looks like he goes for the pin. Hollywood Cole will typically finish his matches with a move called the, well, it's a modified version of the stroke uh, that he uses. If you're familiar, this is a joke, a uh, move uh, popularized by Jeff Jarrett, and he throws Fantana out of the ring, landing on the red carpet. Uh, referee Abby uh, is gonna be right there. She's playing the ringside, returning to the ring where Hollywood Cole is waiting for Fantana, catching his breath. Uh, Hollywood Cole appears to be down. Uh, I didn't see him slip out. I didn't have a really good view from Clash Corner. What I do have a view on is that these guys are kicking the crap out of Fantana right at the entryway right now, and they're gonna they're gonna throw him back into the ring. So clearly, these are not just a couple of security guys working the red carpet. Uh, they just laid the boots to him. It's gonna be just a two count, uh, however. So. I see very clearly right now, Hollywood Cole is putting a lot of weight on that knee uh, that was just allegedly injured. Uh, so obviously that was a ruse to uh, draw the attention of referee Abby uh, so that his henchmen uh, could do their work, the Hollywood henchmen. And we get a nice uh, twirly backbreaker right there. And it's only gonna be about two and a half. Uh, not gonna be quite enough to put him away. Hollywood Cole is going to need to hit something bigger or possibly go for a submission if he wants to finish this. Personally, I would think he should go for the submission. I, uh, I say that I don't think a chin lock or a headlock is going to be enough um, for a sleeper. Fantana knows a lot of counters. He's going to be able to. He's going to be able to figure out a way to get some air in there. He's not going to be able to put him away. Crowd starting to rally behind Fantana. You can see them beating on the security barrier again. They are ready for it. And you can see he's getting a little bit of momentum right there. Oh, I think he's got his hand on the back of Hollywood Cole's head. Controls him, lures him in, and hits him with a jawbreaker, staggering him back to the rope. Fantana, he's wondering about what he's going to hit. He's looking for that 506. He's got him swung around right now. He's swinging him, kick, miss. Hollywood Cole had it scouted again. Uh, Fantana, a little bit dizzy, <laughs> and a massive backcracker. Uh, this would be a good time to go for a pin. What's he thinking? He's, he's thinking he needs something else, uh, something even bigger to finish it out. Sling blade by Hollywood Cole taking back over. That was an incredible flurry of offense from Hollywood Cole. I gotta, I gotta take to that. He really brought it to Fantana with that. Very lazy going in and getting the pin there. And uh, when he, you finally have your opponent, the opponent who has been testing you and staying ahead of you for so long, you finally get them in that position. You can't stop and jaw jack with the crowd like that. Now just, he kicked out. And once again, this has challenged Hollywood Cole's perception of reality again. It's, it's, he thought that was going to be the pin. It wasn't the pin. That's not what he saw happening. That's not where he wanted to be. It's, the fans weren't cheering. It wasn't what they wanted. It wasn't what he wanted. So this just, you can see it just, the charismatic, the theatrical Hollywood Cole. You can, you can just read his demeanor just change. He starts winning. He starts feeling it. All of a sudden, we see a different Hollywood Cole, and then something like that happens. So now, he's going to try to achieve his goal, and he's going to try to get the fans on his side with some kind of high-flying maneuver. But you don't want to go up with Fantana, who manages to... I don't have a great view from Clash Corner, but it looked like Fantana managed to kick him in the head, and he was up on the top rope. That was a spectacular leap by Fantana. Hollywood Cole taking a walk on the outside, trying to regroup himself. And he's uh, being coddled by his security right now. And then Fantana into the security guards. I don't know if they pushed Hollywood Cole out of the way or he just left them hug him out to dry. 
Um, but Fantana was gunning for Hollywood Cole and he missed, but he took out the two Stooges on the sidelines here. And Hollywood Cole choosing uh, discretion as the better part of Valor. And he is running, he's making some tracks, he's getting to the outside of the ring. He's gonna try to get the drop on Fantana as he comes back in. And it's looking, I don't know what he was looking for right there, but he didn't get it. And now he's set up for the 506. Fantana's coming in, sweeps around, finally lands it. That's the third attempt, third time's the charm for the 506. And then comes in big shoulder block spear right into the corner, jumps up, spin kick. Hollywood Cole, he's staggered, he's coming up. But I think we're we're gonna look for the dead, we got the deadly side of Fantana right here. He's got the, he's gonna put up the gun. He's calling his shot. We got the handstand press into the drop kick. Inbound. Full elevation all the way straight up. 180 toes to the ceiling. Right down to your chest. Hollywood Cole who kicks out. That is almost unbelievable for the amount of damage uh, that I have seen whipping around. But somehow he did it. And then we got a moonsault out of Maritime Luchador Fantana. And holy. Cow, I can't believe Hollywood Cole is kicking out of this stuff. Uh, meanwhile, at ringside, Hollywood Cole's uh, security uh, has made it back up to their feet. They've recovered from that incidental landing of uh, Fantana. It looks like he's, he's going to hit him with another moonsault. We're going to have double jeopardy uh, moonsaults here. Look at the elevation. Let's check uh, how high are the lights in here. Oh, okay, he saw it. He saw it coming. He, scout, he managed to get his feet back under. Hollywood Cole, he's got the mask. He's going, he's got him that hole, he's got it almost off. And then we got, oh, he pulls the mask and hits him with the stroke. That's the finisher of Hollywood Cole on Fantana. He pulled the mask. And Fantana can't see, he didn't know where he was, something. He got something loose, that twisted right over his face and that's how this is gonna end. Well, it was a hell of a match until it wasn't. Now we had a little bit of interference, a little bit of shenanigans on the outside. Fantana, the veteran, he managed to navigate his way through it. And uh, he almost pulled out the victory to end the, uh, the streak of the piece that he is currently on. Hollywood Cole, he went to the mask. He was, we were having a great athletic contest, it was going well, but he went to the mask, he blinded Fantana with it, there's nothing you can do. Fantana, where's that mask? He brought it into the ring. Uh, really, referee's hands are tied. But that, uh, that confusion, that blindness, that allowed Hollywood Cole to land his version of the stroke and to put away uh, Fantana. But he's, Fantana's over there, he's getting a little bit of love from the fans. He's an incredible athlete. Hollywood Cole, he's gotta rub it in. He's gonna be up on the ropes right now, right in front of Fantana, right where he is. But the fans, they rest solidly behind the Maritime Luchador Fantana. Hollywood Cole, you say I need you more than you need me. I think you forget Hollywood Cole. There would be no you if there was no me. I'm the guy that made it to the small guys here in the Maritime. It ain't Fantana. I didn't come out victorious tonight. Well, listen to Fredericton. I come out victorious every time I'm here. 